In the realm of four-dimensional thinking, the demarcations between internal thoughts and external reality are blurred. So let's start this expedition. Visualize for a moment the concept that everything exists right now, in this very moment. This involves the core of four-dimensional thinking, a structure that goes beyond the limitations of conventional perception. It involves the conviction that our inner dialogues, the moderated conversations within ourselves, not only influence our thoughts, but also shape the external environment. Our thoughts and inner dialogues shape everything around us and build the structure of our experiences, both with individuals and with the world around us. Our inner thoughts and discussions serve as the seeds of imagination. What we imagine takes shape in our lives, like scenes unfolding on the screen of space. However, what is it that we genuinely wish to bring into being and encounter? When we talk about creation, we're not talking about conjuring something out of nothing. Instead, we are referring to unveiling what already resides in invisible reality. Everything essential already exists, awaiting the moment of realization. Think of it as a quest to bring this already existing reality to life. Our inner conversations, thoughts and visions act as a compass to guide us on this journey. The inner voice, distinct from the constant mental noise, speaks in the spirit of harmony and abundance. This reminds us that in the world of the fourth dimension, anything is possible. The concept of four-dimensional thinking echoes the teachings of Neville Goddard, who urged us to imitate God by contemplating how God manifests the invisible as if it were visible. This idea applies to our lives. We too can make the invisible tangible. To achieve this, we need to harness the power of the imagination before making it external. Our internal discussions those personal conversations we have with ourselves form the basis of imagination. They are the source of what we imagine and eventually bring into being in our lives. Therefore, in four-dimensional thinking, we learn to imitate the divine act of bringing the invisible into the realm of the visible. We nurture faith, which, as Neville wisely stated, is an allegiance to invisible reality a deep trust in the existence of all things, even if they have not yet materialized in our physical world. As we delve deeper into the realms of our thoughts and beliefs, we discover the power inherent in shaping our own reality. The canvas of our minds becomes the workshop where dreams take shape, and aspirations are molded into tangible experiences. It is within these mental landscapes that we paint the pictures of our desires, infusing them with the colors of belief and intention. However, the journey of manifestation goes beyond mere positive thinking. It requires a disciplined mind, capable of navigating the intricate dance between faith and action. The invisible forces we invoke through our thoughts and beliefs must be met with intentional steps into the visible world. In this dance of co-creation, we find the synergy that transforms ideas into lived experiences. That's why I consistently emphasize in our videos that we are the creators of our reality. We can shape it with our thoughts and give it form through our inner conversations. What we imagine in our minds isn't just a passing thought. It's a process that unfolds before us. As Neville once mentioned, many individuals, myself included, have witnessed events before they unfold in this realm of three dimensions. If a person can predict an event before it happens in the three dimensions of space, life on Earth must develop according to a plan. This plan must exist somewhere else in another dimension, gradually moving through our space. Our senses, although powerful, often blind us to the invisible wonders that surround us. To genuinely perceive the invisible, we need to free our minds from the constraints of sensory evidence. Our focus must be directed towards the imperceptible, allowing us to feel and sense it until it becomes as substantial as the tangible. Throughout our lives, 
We have been taught to believe that our understanding of reality is defined by the experiences of our five senses. However, on our spiritual journey, there comes a time when we begin to think independently, stepping outside conventional boundaries. This is when we ponder, what do we genuinely want? How do we want to shape our lives? As we delve into these deep questions, we discover aspirations that lead us down different paths. Our intuition, our inner voice, then becomes our guiding compass. It enables us to interpret sensory information from various perspectives. Through this approach, we achieve success and produce results in ways that are unique to each of us. Some might even consider us visionaries or innovative thinkers. Through the manifestation of our heart's desires, we gain insights into how to transcend the restrictions of three-dimensional thinking, which often confines us to the past and the future. So when we say that something has already been achieved, we move into a different state of mind. Even if the external world seems unchanged, our perception changes, revealing a new reality before us. By harmonizing our internal dialogue with our vision, we bridge the gap between our aspirations and sensory information. As a result, we no longer feel overwhelmed or affected by external circumstances, opinions, or environments. We effortlessly select experiences from the outside world, guided by our inner voice, leading us down unexpected but purposeful paths. Connecting with people and environments that resonate with our spiritual journey sums up the essence of our inner exploration, where intuition, inner dialogue, and genuine desires converge to create a life beyond common understanding. In the captivating journey of bringing our desires to life, specific circumstances and information play essential roles. Let's delve deeper into this concept to discover hidden truths that have the potential to transform our lives. Consider, for example, that you have made the decision to embark on a new career. Now imagine this. What if you could feel the essence of this new career as if it were already a reality? To truly feel this essence, we need to immerse ourselves in the vision of the desired experience, activating all our senses. By immersing ourselves in this imaginative realm, in this sacred moment, we make an act of faith. It is at this moment that a profound change occurs. This marks the crucial point of manifestation and four-dimensional thinking. Even though external reality appears unchanged on the surface, we begin to notice subtle changes. Feelings and inspirations begin to emerge, and individuals enter our lives unexpectedly. These connections lead us to opportunities that go beyond the conventional path. This unconventional approach to development is in harmony with what we call four-dimensional thinking. In this mindset, the key idea is that everything already exists and exists in the present. Our being is an integral part of this reality. To excel in the ability to perceive the imperceptible, it is crucial to free the mind from the restrictions of the five senses. Direct your focus towards an invisible state immersing yourself in it until it becomes as tangible as the world around you. This is where imagination takes center stage. Another effective practice is to enter an almost drowsy state, concentrating on a single mental image that represents the desired achievement. Alternatively, you can formulate affirmations stating that it has already been achieved. Engaging in these practices takes us into a different state of mind, it is within this state of mind that we experience the feeling that it is already accomplished. So, imagine your thoughts as a concentrated beam of light. When you concentrate seriously and intensely in a specific direction, other sensations fade into the background, almost as if they disappeared. Concentration, therefore, is the key to manifestation. An essential aspect of concentration involves getting in tune with our inner dialogues. Make sure that your inner conversations are consistently aligned with your desired outcome. By observing internal changes, you will naturally observe changes in the external world as well. It's a harmonious interaction between your inner world 
and external reality. This process promotes joyful concentration and an unwavering focus on your vision because you understand that the power lies within you. Your inner world serves as a catalyst for transformation, shaping the external world to reflect your assumptions and beliefs. As each day unfolds, you become more and more adept at altering your inner conversations and witnessing the beautiful transformation in your external reality. So always keep in mind that fundamentally, the power to shape your reality lies within you. This practice opens the door to deep spiritual insight, granting us the ability to peer beyond the realm of the senses, where hidden truths wait patiently to be discovered. As the ancient scriptures remind us, for since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are inexcusable. Romans 1.20 Understanding our vision requires recognizing that it works independently of our natural faculties. We cannot rely on our physical senses alone. It is essential to awaken our spiritual senses in order to truly understand the mysteries of life. Although this may seem contrary to what we have been taught about how the world of the five senses works, it holds the key to what we call four-dimensional thinking. The belief that all things exist here and now, simply because these events can be anticipated before they materialize in the physical realm. To promote this four-dimensional thinking, we need to turn our focus inwards and observe our internal dialogue. The conversations we have with ourselves about our daily experiences and our vision for the future. I'm not suggesting that you should become fixated on a future that hasn't yet developed. This understanding is intended to help you better grasp the concept and manifest what you want for your life. Consider, for example, times when it seems that the world around us conveys rejection and someone questions our aspirations, claiming that you or I are destined to fail. I understand that it can be a little uncomfortable to hear, but it all originates deep within you. Before this external incident, there was an internal conversation. It could have gone like this. I doubt my ability to succeed. Can I really achieve this? This internal uncertainty, fed by your own thoughts, materializes externally in the form of someone expressing discouraging words to you. The rejection we encounter in the realm of the five senses can reflect a doubt or assumption within us. The ability to alter your reality lies in changing these internal assumptions. All changes, all transformations originate in our consciousness. These changes don't unfold in the external world as they might seem. They begin as subtle movements within us. It's similar to a narrative that plays out on the big stage of our lives. Visualize the theater of your outer world as a reflection, a mirror that reveals the inner changes. Behaviors, environments, circumstances, and the information we encounter serve as the canvas on which our inner changes are portrayed. It is through this unfolding that the inner world manifests itself in the outer world. Now, with all my heart, I sincerely hope that this concept becomes the key to the transformation you seek, whether in your aspirations or even in your spiritual development. Avoid seeing yourself only as a product of your five senses, as this perception can lead to a sense of drifting into a reality that we feel is beyond our control. To clear our minds, to fine-tune our inner dialogues, we must recognize that these conversations are not just reflections of our experiences. They are, in fact, the architects of our external world. Initially, this may seem challenging, given our assumption that our inner dialogues are the cause of our reality. However, with dedication, we can gradually change our perspective. So keep in mind, all change originates in consciousness. Even the future, meticulously detailed in anticipation, presents numerous paths at every stage of our lives. However, 
It is our internal conversations, the dialogues we have with the external world, whether through circumstances or information, that guide us towards the future we yearn for. There are several ways to achieve what you want, whether through force, through a natural flow, or a mixture of both, but the decision is yours. Once you understand that all transformations happen in consciousness, your internal dialogue will shift towards proactivity. When you affirm that all power and everything exists in the present moment, you enter a realm of unlimited possibilities, shaping your reality with intention and grace. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If this video resonated with you, I encourage you to like and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with others so that they too can extract value from this message and remember to leave a comment below, sharing your ideas, reflections, and experiences. Thanks again for watching and being part of this discussion. Take care, and I hope to see you soon.